Okay, so we're, ooh, hello, what's this? There's an ancient sapphire. Dude carefully unfolds the note and begins to read it. Uh, wanderer of the great plains of Cantlin, I bestow this blue navigate globe onto thee. Set it firmly upon the ground, and ever shall its guiding light be reflected upon thy compass. Thou wishes to return to a place with confidence, whether it be a place of safety or opportunity, simply set this globe before thee, and let it guide thy way. To who ever readeth this missive, may Rubus watch over thee in all thine adventures. So Reginald, Reginald Augustus Greatness, Cantlin Brigade of Guards. Alright, so we finally got our blue Navaglobe. I don't know what this thing does. Anyway, let's go murder some Hammerhoods. Looks like there's a fair amount of stuff right over here. Ooh! Weird brown slimes. Murder. Oh, they're a little bit beefier than I thought. Daffodaisy, bud. Yeah, so what I think I'm going to do is... um, I think I'm going to load up... Okay, splat of orange oil. Wayf Wayfair clothes. A light, long-lasting tuning for the speedy... Trendy traveler. Defense plus five. Slightly increased movement speed. Ho! And magic die. Oh, man. Of course, we've now pissed off every slime in the general vicinity, which is going to be a bit of an interesting issue. But I should be able to just clobber off my way through. Okay, there we go. So first order of business actually is to do something slightly different. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna... I'm gonna clear this out. Where's a good spot for this? This actually seems like a good side. So what I want to do is make a very, very small bedroom here. It doesn't need to be much, just enough that I can put down a bed. And, uh, very little more, really. Because it's going to go dark occasionally. And that means we're gonna want we're gonna want to rest. Gonna have to worry about food too. But yeah, this way I don't have to. I don't have to think. I don't have to think about uh, sleeping or anything like that nearby. I wonder what those shamrocks are for. It looks like there's also some uh, resources nearby. Ah, found the hammerhood. Well, I'll keep clearing slimes for a hot second, and then I think we'll go kill. We'll just kill the hammerhood. I wonder if I can come back here. Ow. Okay, we got a clump of fur. What do we learn how to make out of this? Leather armor, yes. And a leather shield, yes. I am, man. I've been waiting. F I've been waiting 13 episodes for this. 14 episodes. Yeah, yeah. This would be the 15th because the last one was me clearing the demo stuff, and here we are finally with the real game. It looks like there's some resources down below here. I'm not going to deal with it yet because we haven't been told to do so. Okay. Interestingly enough, hammerhoods don't aggro very well on you. On me. I haven't learned how to make a hammer yet, interestingly enough. I'm eating these shots. Probably shouldn't. Probably should focus a little bit more on self-preservation. I'm just kind of lazy. We're healing up fast enough and we can always go back and sleep if I take too much damage. Come on, teach me your hammering ways. Ow. Aren't we supposed to get a hammer from these guys? Because most definitely not the, uh, the oil that we've been collecting. Should figure out how to make the leather armor. In fact, I might actually be able to make it already. Oh. Ow. Okay. Got a small horde of slimes coming after me. I really do hope I learn how to make uh, cast magic at some point. Oh, interesting. So I can't mine resources, even if they're encased in dirt blocks. Well, that's good to know. Yeah, not a mallet in sight. There we go. Eh, still nothing. Well, I guess we could go check out that weird shack over there. We've also got a skeleton who seems to hate my guts. Ow, he's got some sweep to that. Ah, good place to get cloth, though. Hopefully, eventually, we'll be able to make our own. Oh, you need to go to the king to get the hammer? Really? Whoops. 
Well, I guess while we're here, what do I need for this? Cord. 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 Less than useful. Okay, is there anything useful here? No reply, just a corpse. Ah, oh, guess I didn't need to bring all these materials. Okay, we built a sleepy room. Room is destroyed. Oh no! The hammer hood! The hammer hoods can destroy buildings. Well that, that's an interesting problem. I didn't think, oh. There's our answer. We've actually got several types of hammer hoods here. Okay, I was wondering about this. Okay. Yep, they can break blocks for me. I wonder if I can cheese them to do some things. Okay. So apparently I'm doing this wrong. We've got to go find a king somewhere. Oh, hey. we got a chest in the hillside, though. I'm going to go for that first. So you got this guy saying he loves climbing. Yeah, all right, dude. You do you. I'm just going to clobber not my way through here. This will take a little while. Oh, the king is just a bigger version of the hammerheads. Or hammerhoods. Ew. Okay. Well, I've been enjoying just farm exploring. Oh, hey, we gotta. Are you. Okay. I think I gotta. Oh, that's why. Okay, I didn't realize my bag was full. What are these blocks? Not a clue. Anyway, I'm gonna head back for that chest if I can. Kinda looks like I'm trapped down here for a short bit. Okay. Well, that's why I got all these dirt blocks with me. And since we're going up just a, a solid face, I can just put them down as much as I want. Yeah! There we go. Okay, let's go take a nap, drop off resources. And it looks like we've got another hammer hood in the house. What's this one say? Hammerton Heights Visitor Center. <laughs> Funny. Okay. Let's go back to the, the teleportarium. Uh, we got a, yeah, we've got this very nice convenient chest here. Alternatively, I can just bop home. I can't, I, Oh, you can climb vines. Good to know. Okay. Let's see. Read the fine quest print. The problem is I just forgot it so long ago. Because, I mean, it really has been like a week. And it's easy to forget these things. Okay. Don't care too much about many of these things. Ah, right. Whatever this is. Clay. Hey. Interesting. Okay. And let's... Let's see if we've picked up any extra food while we're here. More mushrooms on a stick. Yeah. We're going to need that. Sleep in a bed, and then we'll zip back out. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I want to... I, I, I'm, I'm trying to rush through this as fast as possible, which is part of the reason why I wasn't paying attention to the quest information. I thought I was just supposed to kill the prime hammerhood, but I guess it looks like there's a different kind of one. All right, that's fine. Waiting until an RPG game makes slimes one of the strongest enemies. Actually, Dragon Dragon Warrior fits that bill really well. You, uh, you probably never ran into um, some of the high-end ones, but in uh, Dragon Warrior Monsters, which was like the one I was really interested in, um, and like got me into the Dragon Warrior series. Hey, we're just on another island over here. Okay, that's cool. Um, let's see. Uh, one of my favorite units in the entire series was the, uh, first piece of ivy. We've learned how to make a cord. Hey! Okay, but, um, uh, one of the main units in that, we've got butter beans. We've learned how to make boiled butter beans. Okay, uh, like, my, my main units were gold slimes. They were nearly invincible, almost completely immune to, to spells, and you could, um, uh, you could teach them a lot of magic and a bunch of other things. They were 
absolutely rough contenders. Loved using them. And I'm really disappointed that those games really haven't been, like, um, kept up. Like, they've had a couple of Japanese releases and a remake and stuff. But not by much. Okay, looks like we might have found the, uh, the guy we're looking for. Yep, you can totally climb vines. That's interesting. Kind of useless, given the situation. And I want to bust him up for... for farming purposes. Oh, there's... Even the base is hollow. Though it doesn't really look like there's a reason to come in here apart from... because I can. Okay. Found him! Do I have to talk to him? Can I talk? I can talk to him. Well, bless my soul, if it isn't a little human! I'm Clubber Clubberina, head of the Hammerhood. I suppose you might call me the Hammerhead. What might a poor bleeded human want with me? Mercy me, you want to know how we make our giant mallets? I'm sorry, my dear. I know it must be hard being a human, but you won't turn a Hammerhood that easily. And besides, these hammers are our most precious treasure. The recipe is a closely guarded secret. It wouldn't be right to tell every Tom, 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 Dick, and Harry how to make them. Come now, dearie, don't be like that. Perhaps there's some way we could... Oh, I know! My roof has got three great big holes in it. The wind comes right through it and plays havoc with my old bones. I, don't get me started on the rain. I get soaked to the skin. I'll catch, catch, catch my death one of these days, I tell you. A few block, block, blocks of straw floor would plug these holes right up. I do it myself, but I'm not as young as I once was. Well, how about it? Do you think you can fix my roof? You can use the ivy around here to make cord. You need to bundle the straw into blocks. And once you've built the straw floor blocks, just pop them in the holes. If you did fix up my roof for me, I'd ever be ever so grateful. I might even show you how to make a giant mallet. Righto. Okay. Here's the next question. Okay, so we want to make cord first. That looks like cord is... Cord comes in high, high quantity. Okay, so we've learned how to make a straw floor block. Uh, what's that require? Also, can I... Can I make these? Yes, I can. So, despite the fact that the, we're nowhere close to our, uh... Our base... I can make stuff from anywhere. Oh, that's so nice, as long as we got the raw materials somewhere. Oh man, this is some classic Dragon dragon Warrior, Dragon Quest um, clothing. Okay, so what do we need for a straw floor? Looks like I make a lot of it, too. So we've made a straw flooring kit. A covering that adds class to any earthen floor. Changes nearby earth floors into straw floor blocks. Ooh! Okay, so that'll make life a little bit easier. Looks not terrible, though I'm probably gonna wait until we've got the, um, like wood or stone or something. We'll f find out. Anyway, my word, you fixed my roof! And what a wonderful job you've done, too! I didn't think you had it in you. Hold on a minute, a human with the power to build, build, build things out of nothing. Don't tell me you're the legendary builder! Oh my, would you listen to me, getting all excited? Don't worry, dearie, your secret's safe with me. You humans were once so powerful, but now there is hardly anything left of you. Meanwhile, us monsters grow stronger by the day. Truth be told, can't say I'm happy with this arrangement. I think, think, think this world could do with a bit of balance. Now, that's not easy to say. Or, that's not to say I want to see the whole world crawling with humans, but it'd be a real shame if you all died out. Alright, I'll help you. But just this, just between you and me, dearie. We wouldn't want the Dragon Lord finding out now, would we? First things first, let me show you how to make, uh, build, build, build a giant mallet. God, I love the animation, the secondary animations on that hair. This is really pretty. Okay, heavy hammer hewed from a large log. Attack plus eight can break hard blocks. Listen carefully, dearie. Oh, nope, we've already done that. Okay, never mind. Now I have a habit of never daring on a bit. Once I've got started, there's no stopping me. What do you say, dearie? Do you have the time to listen to an old gas, gas, gas bag like me? Yes. You do? Bless your heart. First of all, let me tell you about the giant mallet, the most prized possession of every hammer hood. With just a few swings of the giant mallet, you can chop, chop, chop trees into chunks and reduce rocks to rubble. And there's ever so many things to be made from wood and stone. I'm sure a clever cook a cookie like you could come up with all sorts of ideas. 
You can even use a giant mallet to dig up the metals and materials you or minerals you find in mountains or down in the caves. There's copper and coal and iron, all sorts of wonderful materials buried out there. They have all of their uses. So take your giant mallet in hand and start smash, smash, smashing all things you couldn't smash before. It's just the kind of thing a builder needs, don't you think? That said, our hammers might be a little heavy for a human. I imagine you'd find them awfully awkward to swing about in the middle of a fight, but don't let that stop you, dearie. Oh, crap. All right, whatever. I just think you'll find it more useful for gathering materials. That's all. Let's see now. What's next? Ah, I know. All right, now, pay attention. This is a bit important, but it's a little bit complicated. You can use some materials to make new materials. These materials don't do anything on their own, but they can be used to build different things. When you patched the roof for me, and what a lovely job you did, too. You didn't know how to build blocks of straw floor at first. You cut, cut, cut down some of some ivy and learned how to make cord. But it was only when you made the cord that you worked out how to make the straw floor blocks. Now, when you've built yourself a giant mallet, I'm sure you're going to run around smash, smash, smashing things up. You're going to find yourself with trees and rocks and copper and coal and all sorts of different materials. But you can't build everything out of lumber and ore. You have to take them back to your workstation and process them first. Also, um, I suppose that's everything I want to say, really. Not that you were listening. You were fast asleep just now, weren't you? I warned you before we started that I have a habit of prattling on. Well, never mind. You're the builder after all. If anyone can work out for themselves how to handle a giant mallet, you can. Alright, let's go make ourselves a giant mallet. And maybe deal some with some materials. Okay, giant mallet. Just three broken branches. Easy peas. Okay, equipment. Got it. Oops. Wow, that's an adorable, adorable mining thing. Uh, let's see. So what are we gonna do next? So I need resources. I want to explore. Let's explore first and see if there's anything particularly interesting here. Like any other specific spots. That's a big hammer hood over here. Let's go bop it on the face bits. Huh, it stuns them. Well, that's kind of handy. What's this do? Huh. A big bag designed to be hung on a wall. That is not nearly as useful as I thought it was going to be. Useful, still. Let's still. Okay, item bag is full. We got more hammer hoods around here. I feel like this thing's supposed to have something in it, but I'm getting it. All right. Bap, 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 bap. It works. Don't question my. Don't question my techniques. Just bap them on the head repeatedly. It's not exactly nearly as effective as I'd like to be. Hello! Called it. Okay, scrap of paper in the treasure chest. It looks like there's some sort of diagram on the back. What luck? It's a blueprint. Uh, obtained the greasy mallet blueprint. Yes! I don't know. Probably useful. Not sure. Okay, let's heal up a bit. Get some shrooms on a stick. Can I eat these? Nope, can't eat butter beans. Oh, that sucks. Looks like we've got a graveyard down below, but what luck, we also have a uh, treasure chest. So I'll go check these things out. What? Oh, interesting. Doesn't look like there's anything I can do with that. Can I talk to this guy? Ah, hello, human. I heard about you. You're that dude. Boy, 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 everyone's been talking about. I've been trying to fix, fix it. Fix up this graveyard for all the poor little humans who lost their lives in Caitlin. But the place is such a mess, and I don't know how to build new gravestones to replace the ones that have fallen apart. If you're as good as they say you are, dude, maybe you can work out how to do it. There's a brownie who lives near the Damdara Desert who's built a nice little graveyard of his own. If anyone knows how to build, build, build a gravestone, he will. If you could ask him how to make them and build me a couple to replace the ones that have fallen down, I'll take care of the rest. The Dam. Dara Desert's a long way away, and building the gravestones won't be easy either. But, if you could help me out, I'll make it worth your while. Ah, there's our answer. Okay, well, uh, honestly, for the time being, we've got these straw floors. I'm not a big fan of them. Whoops. So let's get out of here. Uh, yeah, 
so I'm gonna get these. We've got all sorts of raw materials in here. Unfortunately, my inventory is damn full. Which is kind of wildly inconvenient. For what I'm doing here. Sort of? I don't know. Uh, do we... Yeah. Okay, so we got our first lump of coal. Crockery! So we got things. Honestly, I'm gonna probably... Mm, items. What do we have here? I'm probably just gonna discard the butter beans. Oh, which just disappear forever. Okay. Yeah, let's go... Let's go copper and clay, uh, coal mining, I think, for the time being. Okay, so we figured out how to make those, which makes total sense. Balls. Yeah, whatever. Use the dirt. I, I'll be using the dirt. It's just, uh... We got a lot of other things to work with around here for the time being. Might also get rid of my torches if we run into other resources. This is the most hilarious animation ever. I love it. I love this game. This is this is really well done. I, I was like, I was a little bit grumpy that we had to like speed run our way through things, but honestly, considering how fast everything's going, uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go to town here. We want to collect as much clay as possible. The stuff like the sack is a little bit less useful, uh, probably. Uh, but I'll keep it around just because it's interesting. It might actually have some uses. I'm noticing this game actually has a bit of a motion blur to it. It's kind of unfortunate. I'm not a big fan of motion blur, honestly. I wonder if I can turn it off. Okay, let's back up a bit. There we go. Okay. Yeah, might as well pick up a bunch of, uh, a bunch of goodies while we're out here. Because we're going to need these resources for probably everything. Forever. I wonder exactly what we're going to need, uh, to make armor and stuff. Like, does coal require, uh, does copper require coal, or is it just kind of like a, uh, Occasional material. I don't know. I, I don't know like how much we need to be like insane about gathering resources here So I'll just gather what I can and make it quick and then we'll go back I wonder if I'm gonna be able to make um I wonder if I'm gonna be able to make higher quality uh, Pottery or something interesting question Okay, it's getting dark we should probably leave Okay, I've got a ton of dirt. We might as well use it. I'm curious if these fall distances would kill me ever. Well, not the kind of thing I'm going to exper experiment with too much. Let's go back. Let's bring our ill gotten gains back and see what the next quest is. Let's see. I'm sure, real wooden hammers could might as well probably take forever, though. Yeah, it would probably take a, a ludicrous amount of time that I don't think I want to deal with. So yeah, let's let's go back. Let's drop off what we've got. We can make a ton of things. I think I'm gonna keep with the uh, hero armor for the time being. The movement speed bonus, well, maybe not as noticeable for you guys. Totally noticeable on my end, and very very appreciated. Okay, I remember there being anything in town that was specifically useful. The ultra is insane. Gather mine everything in the entire island. At someday maybe yeah. Especially if we need the stuff for it. For now, though, let's keep going. Let's see. Start collecting stone. You can make a furnace or something. Yep. Part of the reason why I haven't, I wasn't bothering with collecting stone and stuff. Oh yeah, should probably go save. Absolutely. Uh, the reason why I wasn't bothering with collecting stone, uh, back there, is because I'd actually rather get the stone from uh, this area because we've got a ton of stone nearby uh, that we definitely, definitely don't need. Probably figure out if this is used. Okay, informs the owner of its whereabouts. When placed, location is shown on your compass. Oh! Okay, so it's just to get back to where I was. That's kind of handy. Okay, let's go pick up our next quest. By my knobby knuckles, dude, you've done it! You've built a giant mallet. With a hammer like that, you can smash up all sorts of things that you couldn't smash up before. Why? Just around here, there are trees and rocks. And through the blue teleportal, there's said to be copper and coal in abundance. Once a clever like lad like you gets his hands on materials like that, well, there's no end to what you might invent. And just think, when you build your new inventions, you might be able to dream up some recipes for even more exciting items. 
Go on, dude. Head out into the world and swing that mallet around like there's no tomorrow. Smash up everything you see and pick up all the mat materials you haven't been able to collect so far. And if you work out how to build new things, waste no time. Build them straight away. To begin with, why don't you try chopping down one of these nearby trees? So get some extra teleporting wings. You know, I probably could have actually just teleported back. Whoops. Ah, dude. I've been... I've just been talking to Pippa. She said you were looking for new people to help your town grow. I think I might know where you could find someone. On the far side of the Heaven Hoods village, there's a small island connected to the mainland by a narrow land bridge. I passed by that place on my way here, and I thought I saw a bonfire burning. You might want to head out there and see for yourself. I'm sure Pippa would be thrilled if you brought someone back with you. Oh, and dude, it's a long way. Away. Uh, so it can't hurt to build a place to sleep while you're out there. Have you seen any of those old broken down houses when uh, you've been out there in your wanderings? If you fix them up, you could use them as a home f away from home and take a break without having to come back all the way back to town. But it's up to you, really. For the time being, just follow your compass and see if you can find new, a new person to join your town. Okay, what's this last question? Let's see. So, so, dude, are you gathering all sorts of new and useful materials? You must be building up a sizable stockpile of all the amazing things you've found. And if you haven't yet, well, it's only a matter of time. Either way, you're going to need somewhere to store it all before it gets out of hand. I can only imagine how very vexing it must be to go pick up a tantalizing new item and find your hands are full. Well, never fear, dude. For as you toil endlessly to gather materials, I too am at hard at work. I've been poring over the Kentland Chronicle, you see, and have discovered the means to construct something called the Colossal Coffer. As if it's as remarkable a repository as the book describes, it'll make gathering and collecting materials a breeze. Dude, if I show you how to make the Colossal Coffer, will you build one for me? I want to see the fruits of my studies for, with my own two eyes. Okay, so, enormous chests store all the materials a build busy builder needs, can use to be used to store materials. Score 500 points. Damn! Yeah, this is why the, the whole pot room cheese is maybe a little bit less than useful. I wonder which tree I should chop down. I'll go with this one. Hopefully they regrow or something. Plumberry lumber. Okay, so we get lumber. So we've learned how to make a piece of wood. Yes. And we've got a seedling. Hey, so I can... I can uh, regrow trees. All right, let's go lumberjack for a while. Because if I can if I can regrow trees, then there's no reason why I should be. Uh, uh, if I can regrow trees, there's no reason why I shouldn't be just aggressively cutting down every tree we have here. I'll probably just replant them haphazardly. I don't like the idea of like putting them up in like direct rows or anything like that. That'd be weird. It'd be nice if if uh, occasionally we actually got a an extra seedling or something, just for the sake of you know. Oh, don't go for the small ones then. Good to know. What if we go for something this large? Do we get two? Nope, we only get one. Damn. So we can technically run out of seeds. That'd be bad. Let's avoid that if at all possible. Only go for the big trees. Oh, well, that makes sense. All right, go save. Very good point. Plant a tree on top of one of that town's houses and see if it grows. Good idea. Let's let's go get us a uh, chop us another tree, and see if that that's the case. And, I mean, honestly, I can almost guarantee that it's going to grow. What's he doing in the teleportarium? No idea. Oh, let's clear out these rocks. They don't need to be here anymore. This stick. I'm just gonna put that right there. Oh, right, I forgot. Well, you know what? Haphazard, but it'll have to do. Uh, so let's get over here. And let's do some buildings. Okay, so we've got wood. We might as well make as much wood as we've got. I can't imagine the raw wood's gonna be useful for anything else. Okay, so we've learned how to make a bench. It's a decoration. Uh, can be sat on. Made a saloon door. Okay, piano stop playing with these trendy timber doors. Swing open, open and close, so it's just a new type of door. All right. Let's see, what were, ah, colossal coffer. Okay, there we go. 
by my bulging biceps. You've done it, dude. You've built a colossal coffer. With that coffer placed within the boundaries of this great town, you no longer have to worry about running out of room when you're out and about. When your item bag is full, this marvelous magical chest will whisk away anything you can't carry back to your base and store it for you. And what's more, you can access the colossal coffer and all the items inside it from anywhere in the whole wide world. Do you know what this means, dudes? You can go out into the wilderness and gather materials to your heart's content. Speaking of gathering materials, have you collected any of the copper, coal, or stone from the home of the Hammerhoods yet? The Cantlin Chronicle describes these substances at length, and it seems if we had a forge, we could use them to smith metal items. Needless to say, you should be sure to seek out those substances without delay. Now that you've got both the mallet and the coffer, it's time to dive into the caves beneath Hammerton Heights and see what you can dig up. Ow. My jaw really hurts. Okay. Was this guy just doing something weird to the teleporter like talking to the Dragon Lord? Ha, <laughs> that'd be hilarious. Anyway. Okay, so we've got this thing. You know, I'm just going to put it here. Oh my god, this is huge. Wow, if I had this... Well, I guess digging out the basement's going to be really easy. Or downtown, if we want to stick, stick with the old no uh, naming convention. Because, like, look at this. It's a little awkward trying to, um... Uh, trying to, like, direct it. But, like... Whee! Hopefully, eventually, I get some kind of, like, uh, other kind of hammer that works a little bit more in, like, a sweeping motion. Be nice, at least. Okay, so let's put that there, put that there, put that there. Look at this thing. It's stupid. Okay, you know what? We want to extend this out as big as possible. I gotta figure out uh, what constitutes town limits in the 1.0 version. It might be slightly different. This is ridiculous! I'm super annoyed I didn't have access to this thing earlier. Okay, so let's let's see if the shady part counts as within town or not. Or if I'm gonna have to it, bring this in a little bit more. Also, I'm gonna have to make another mallet. Didn't realize it, but we are actually almost full up. Okay. So let's see. Do we have a do we have a door there? It doesn't look like we got a door. Actually, question. Have they made Yeah, they made a door. It's like they knew. It's like they knew. Alright, so door open. Chess room. Do we get points for it? Yes, yes we do. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna put the colossal coffer here. All right, let's use the Colossal Coffer. If you have a Colossal Coffer in your base, you can take items out of it at any time by selecting items from the main menu. If you're in, even if your inventory is full, any items you collect will be magically transported to the Coffer. Wait, so that means I can, like, just stock up on, like, crazy things. Holy... I'll put the Navaglobe back. Some of the dirt. Keep the torches, I think. All right, uh, you know what? Let's bop over here. Literally bop the chest open. There we go. I'm gonna put all these blocks in here. I'm I'm gonna put everything in here. Uh, I wonder if it stacks higher quantities. No, that's the one unfortunate thing about the Colossal Coffer. I might actually make two. I wonder if I could. I don't know, that'd be interesting. Okay. Well, one way or another, uh, we've got a Colossal Coffer. There's got to be a room that involves the Colossal colossal Coffer somehow. I just don't know what it is. Okay, so items. Yep. So, I, I don't have to be... Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Look at this. Okay, let's see if I can make a second Colossal Coffer. Because if I can make two of them, that could work even better. Or it could screw up or not do anything at all. One way or another, they're worth a ton of points, so there's not really a whole lot of reason why I should do this. Ah, max number of colossal coffers placed. Good to know. 
Bit of a shame, but good to know. Alright, uh, what am I gonna do, do next? Ah, let's go get some stone and stuff. We got several bits of it. I don't think that actually counts. But we do have these big old rocks here that I can totally crush up. There we go, we got our first stone. So we figured out how to make a stone sword. And a stone table. Decoration. And a stone stool. A lot of decorations. And a stone brazier. Hey! And a forge. And stone steps. Hey! And a mason's workshop. Hey! Technically, I got a bunch access to a bunch of those now, but still. Let's grab that. We've got a stone wall block. Yeah, so I'm just going to clobber not my way through some of these things for the time being. Stone wall blocks take forever to cut through. But I assume we get new... Uh, well, I think we already worked out how to make a, a new t kind of mallet. So maybe it's actually re relatively easy to get my hands on. Okay, let's see what we need for a forge. Can't be that much. This game's pretty forgiving on... Um, what if colossal coffers are per room? Interesting question. Nope. There there can only be one colossal coffer in the entire wide world. I'm okay with that. Uh, let's see. So let's build. We're going to see. Can I build a forge? What do I need for a forge? Four more stone. Okay, let's go grab that. I'll do the hammerhood uh, exploration stuff in a bit, but I figured... Yeah, let's let's get this stuff done uh, sooner than later. I wanna I wanna make some copper and some clay and stuff, and see how that goes. But yeah, we got these ugly ass mountains up here. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just dig them out. I think we'll start with the top, flatten them off, go from there. Oh crap! Oh, double crap! These aren't stone. I don't know what they're made out of, but I can't collect uh, stone from them. Man, that sucks. I was totally expecting that was stone. Well, that's unfortunate. I guess I'm gonna go make a... I guess I'm gonna go make a couple of mallets. We'll make a stone sword. If I gotta fight things, I might as well... I uh, might as well fight them with the good stuff. Okay, there we go. Equipment. Honestly, remove. Remove. Let's see, equipment. I'm just gonna discard my old equipment that I have no use for. I wonder, at what point do we get to dress our townspeople in clothing? Oh, interesting. There it is. So it did actually get discarded in the way I thought it was going to get discarded. Ah, well. Uh, let's see, my inventory is not that full. Don't have to worry about it too much. So is there charge attack or no? There is no charge attack. I already tried that one. 